Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I am going to be picking my orders for the last day and a half of sales. It is currently Saturday the 30th. We are in the storage room. If you watched the last video you will notice that I've somewhat changed um, I guess the layout in here. Not, not much. I've done a reorganization and um, about seven bags full i don't know if you can see i've got you guys strapped to my head again uh seven bag like costco bag fulls of new stock has come in so um yeah i had to spend a lot of time making sure everything fit because it didn't so yeah i don't know how many cells we've got to pick today let me just go through three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh, waiting for payment on that one, 20, 22. Okay, so 22 sales, one of which has not been paid for, which was an auction that they uh, won last night. So hopefully that's a GSP sale, so I'm not sure how or when they're going to be paying. Um, hopefully not going to be waiting too long for that because there's 30 pounds, so... Um, yeah, with, without wasting too much time talking, let's just get straight in and uh, get picking these uh, sales because I don't know where all of them are right now because, to be honest, I can't remember what I've sold. Uh, the first sale, I really do hope I've got you pointed in the right direction. Here is a record. We have sold a chitty, chitty bang bang. Um, yeah, so this is probably one of the records i would have actually delisted and probably redonated uh, because it was only up for five pounds and i think they used the um they used the 20 percent offer which i still have active on the store so um they only paid four pound for this hopefully i can find it i need to find a better place for my records to sit because being up here it's really hard to um to sort through them they just get a little bit messy the, you know um, at some point the um the records are going to start getting damaged being like this so i need to find a better spot for them but currently i don't have a better spot so there is the record so we'll pull that out i don't think i've sold any other records uh in this lot of uh, items but here it is cheeky cheek bam bang again hopefully you can see <laughs> Um, it's hard to test where your camera is pointing uh, when you strap it onto your head. Right, so they paid £4 for that one. Next up, we have sold a pair of Nike shorts. Uh, I'm just going to put the picture on screen because, again, all my clothes are not in this room. They're in a different room, so hopefully there'll be an image on screen. This was listed for 25 accepted an offer at 20 um, Again, that works out at the 20% anyway, so it wasn't... It wasn't like I was given any more discount on that. Uh, that literally went live. It was scheduled and uh, it sold the same day it went up. So that was nice. Doesn't always happen with clothing. But when it does, you have to uh, be thankful. Because clothing can take a while sometimes. Unless they're like really popular items. Uh, next up, we have sold uh, the Crusade Lasagna Oven Dish Red. Which is down here. Um, in like my kitchen area. So as you can see, I've got a lot of... Um, kitchen stuff so i have to be careful here not to break anything got a lot of um glass pyrex and stuff so i believe this is the one yep so i'll put this back without chipping anything so this is the dish that i have sold it's in very nice condition um it doesn't look like it's been used to be honest it's probably been used once maybe um, I don't think I listed this as new because um, I believe it's been used but yeah I paid £8 for that I think at car boot the lady wouldn't negotiate if I remember correctly um, £8 into 30 let me just double check they didn't use the offer yeah no uh, 8 into 30 so that's really good so that's what 22 before fees uh, also £5 postage to cover because it's obviously quite a heavy item, which is nice. Um, right, next up, you would have seen a couple of weeks ago, I sold a uh, paddle racket. 
I can't remember what I sold it for now, like 180 or something, maybe a little bit more, I can't remember. Um, but I had two of them. This is a female one. It's a different, by a different company. Uh, but again, it was brand new. So this was a drop shop, uh, drop shot conqueror. And uh, I believe this is like a pink color. Yeah, so there you go. This is a brand new paddle racket, still sealed down the bottom on the handle with all of the information. Um, so yeah, that one has sold for 120. I accepted an offer. Um, I think I had it up for 150 or 160. So I took quite a bit off. Uh, but again, with something like this, I got it so cheap um, that I wasn't going to wait around for a little bit more money. You know what I mean? Like I could have taken another six months to a year to find another customer for it. Um, and then they might have only wanted to pay 122. So, uh, yeah, really good sale on that one. Happy to see that one go. Both of those rackets are now gone. And unfortunately, I don't have any more right now. But I would suggest if you see them out and about, even if they're used, um, try and pick them up. Because, again, I've never seen them before, used or new. And I presume if they're used, they're still going to be worth quite a bit of money. So I would suggest looking out for them if i was you because i certainly will be from now on right next up we have sold a controller a sega dreamcast controller it should be in here this is where all of my controllers are currently um actually saying that it doesn't look like it's in that one it might be in there it is hang on it's in this spare bucket underneath the overflow bucket there we go so again, I hope you're uh, being able to see this. Uh, but this is a very clean Dreamcast controller. Uh, I got this from my contact and I thought that it was gonna be worth way more, but no, uh, I got 16 unless they took the offer. Let me just double check. Yeah, 16 pounds. Um, I'm thinking they may have updated the app actually, cause it's not, um, prices aren't different, um, which would be nice. But yeah, very good condition, 16 pounds on that one. Very happy. Again, wouldn't have paid much. Uh, right, Town Talk Silver Polishing Cloths times four. So these, again, from my contact, these are little cloths in packets here for uh, polishing up some silver. And they bought four of these, so I have to open this packet to take four out. Had them up for uh, four pound a packet and I accepted an offer for four at three pound each, so the person paid twelve pound plus four pound postage. So four of those will be going out to him or her. I don't know. I'll put them back up there for now. So yeah, this is a uh, thirty centimeters by forty-five centimeter polishing cloth. They've obviously got some silver to clean right next up we have sold some pokemon cards um i need to remember where i put them i think they're over here so bear with me i've got a load of stuff in the way uh, i believe they bought all of the pokemon cards uh, six of each packets but i have to count them out because i think i had some spares So they paid £60 for these, plus postage. So I just have to go through and count out uh, 6, 12, 24 packs. So six of the Pokemon, six of, uh, sorry, six of the Pikachu, six of whatever that thing is. Two, two, three, four. Uh, six of these ones. One, two, three, four, five. And six of these like bug ones one two three four five six okay we're good on that oh. one two three four five six we're good on that one two three four five six hang on one two three four five six we're good on them and one two three four five six good on them Okay, so we actually have some left over, which is nice because I can update the list in now. So we've got two Pikachus left, two of these ones left. 
a bear thing and whatever that bug thing is cool so they paid 60 pounds for this much six of each six 12 24 I sold them in lots of uh, one of each set, so and they bought six of the sets, so... Um, yeah, let's put them in our bag without bending them, that would be bad if we go bending all of the packets, so... Yeah, happy with that sale, £60, pounds, that's always a nice one. Uh, right, John Lewis, we have sold a concrete incense holder for those stinky little um, smelly things that people burn in their house and they smell really disgusting, but... People like them, and I think it's in here somewhere, unless I've moved it. Okay, so this is literally what it says on the tin. It's an incense holder made out of concrete, polished concrete or whatever. It goes in that little, that little ball there, I think. And then the ash falls into the little tray. But there we go, that sold for £12 plus postage next up we have sold a tom tom go live now i currently don't remember where i put this so i'm gonna have to find this after i believe unless it's in it's probably in this bin here right but it's been so long since i listed that everything's moved in this room so many times i'm gonna have to probably get that off camera otherwise i'm gonna be there forever looking for it um but yeah that tom tom sold for was it 22.50 i think yeah 22 pound 50 plus postage on that which isn't too bad uh, i actually got that from auction i believe um so yeah uh anyway next up we sold a barbie fashion city toy i actually didn't buy this uh, at Christmas, one of the charity shops had like a raffle thing where you pay 50p or something for a ticket. And I won this, so yeah, uh, sold for £11. So it took five months to sell. I wouldn't advise anyone buying this, but uh, I pretty much got it for free. I've, I was helping them out with their little raffle and then ended up winning. <laughs> Okay, right, next up we have sold three uh, Coussances, actually there's only one of them, and two Le Creuset uh, dishes. Um, question, where did I put, oh, they're over here. Okay, so these are three identical, pretty much. Um, the the, the Coussances, or however you pronounce it, is actually a little bit whiter. The uh, Le Creuset is more like a yellow, yellower colour. Um, on the in on the inside, you can see here the difference. Um, but yeah, pretty much the same company. Uh, I believe Le Creuset bought uh, the other company, so that's why they make the exact same stuff. So uh, yeah, three of those sold for forty five pounds, and I paid ten pound for the three in charity shop. And I also bought that big dish here at the same time, and I believe I paid 15 for that, and that's listed for, I don't know, £60 or something. Um, so yeah, that's a nice little sale there, so I'll put that in our bucket. So that's actually one thing that hasn't died a death since lockdown. Uh, Le Creuset is still... Um, very popular and uh, worth picking up if you can get it as long as there's no like chips in the enamel or anything I still pick it up um, yeah next up we have sold a shirt by religious London it's a weird shirt it has like a plastic pocket on the chest I believe it's for like your mobile phone but I'm not 100% sure again that is in a uh, clove storage which is not in this same room so I'll put a picture on screen yeah, they paid 15 plus 3.99. I can't even act. There we go. Yeah, 15 plus 3.99 on that one. Oh, we have actually sold another record. <laughs> okay, dead or alive. I'm going to have to get this out. Uh I need to go through and like purge my store of cheap stock. Um the end of last year, I went through and I delisted everything that was under 5 pounds. Um and then 
in the beginning of the year i went through and dropped the price of everything else that was um under like 10 to 15 pounds so a lot of the records that were just at five pound mark then got reduced um which actually helped get rid of a lot of them but now i've just got a few that are still sticking around at like four pound and i don't really want them I, I think at some point this year i'm gonna move to 10 pound plus on items because it's actually quite frustrating when i get like three sales in a row and they're all under 10 pounds <laughs> um especially now that i'm able to buy a lot more stuff that's higher value um it's just kind of more time consuming now i'm not saying this is bad stock uh if you owned a record store or something like that you'd probably have these records just for the fact that people might want them and i just whacked the camera on the side there um but for an ebay store um at this specific point in my ebay store it's not really something that's worth me doing there we go so that sold for 320 after they took the discount right uh we got two here i'm gonna do the furby first 20 pounds uh, i paid That ball's going to just keep rocking now. Uh, I think I paid like $3.99 in a charity shop recently for this. Um, and it sold for $20, I think. I probably had it up for $25. Yep. Uh, and they paid $20. It's fully working, um, which is really nice. So these ones were worth quite a bit more recently, um, but they seem to have gone down a little bit. They were fetching like 30 odd pounds before, but not so much anymore. Uh, right, next up we've got a Kinto to go tumbler. Again, I don't know where this is. Um, I think it's probably in my boxes down here. So that means that it's up here. And I think I can see the box actually. There we go. <laughs> it was right there. The whole time it was right there. Right, we're still recording. It was up there the whole time, so I just spent like five minutes looking for it and it, and it was right up there, so that was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, it happens sometimes. Right, next up we have a Recordlig uh, mug. I can actually see it from here, which is great news. Let's put this back over here. Where you belong. Oh, I've got stuff falling all over the place. Right, let's move this. Should be right in here. This is actually sold to someone over in Denmark, I believe, through GSP. So, lovely mug. If you're into your ciders, you probably enjoy a record lig. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. Apologies if uh, I'm doing it wrong. Right next up, Lyland Scott Merino wool jumper again. Picture on screen because it's not here. It's in the other room. So without going over there, that's going to be a pain to to find. Um, I'm looking for the next one. Uh, that sold for £16, by the way, which is good. We have sold a Philips Hue motion sensor. Um, now, where did I put the motion sensors? Do 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 thinking 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 beep boop beep boop brain do 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 did I put them up here? That's the question. Cause they're not in there, because I just searched through there and I did not see them. Where did I put them? That is a good question to ask. I don't know. I'm thinking do 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 brain please work did i put them over here no but the next item is here so the next item sold 24 pound plus postage the sony mega bass cassette player and i'm still trying to think where i put um they wouldn't have gone in my smalls bin ah 
They probably weren't in the overflow bin here. Yes, this is it. My overflow bin. Haha, <laughs> I forgot I had this. Uh, so which one did I sell? I sold the one button uh, one. There we go. So this one has sold four. If I can get this back in. Uh oh, falling off my head. Philips Hue motion sensor, £25. I paid £45 for three different Philips Hue items. This was the cheapest one. Uh, one of them is listed for like 70 and the other one's listed for like 40 uh, So good profit in that. We got £25 back on the three out of uh, 45 so that's nice. We've sold a tie. Again, that tie unfortunately is over by the clothing area, so we'll put a picture on screen. Uh, I think I paid like a pound for this tie like last year at some point. I don't really do ties anymore because they take ages to sell unless you get the really, really good ones. Um, but there we go. It's sold, which is nice. Um, right, we have sold one of our Polaroid cameras here. This is a Polaroid 600 or 1600. Uh, classic edition in this really nice blue, purpley blue color. Um, yeah, here we go. It's in very good condition, fully working and tested. And that is sold for £25. And they used the offer, so they paid 20 So up for 25 they paid 20 Happy with that. 3 99 postage. So that one will go in the bag. And last but not least, another clothing item. Wow, I sold a lot of clothing in the last day or so. Um, £24 on a blue yellow rain jacket by Log or Logo. Is it Logo or Log? L O G G by HM. Uh, is this the one that turns inside out? I don't think so. Okay. It's a very nice jacket, actually. Uh, yeah, £25, £24 on that. I think that's before, yeah, £24. So, yeah, that is it. I think that was like 22 items or something, five of which were cloven, so you didn't get to see them in person. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. That was my sales uh, for Friday, and I don't think I've had any this morning. I don't think it, maybe that jacket was this morning. Was that this morning? Um, sold on the 30th. Yeah, so the jacket was today. So everything else was from yesterday. Unless there was some from Thursday. I can't remember. Uh, yesterday and maybe a bit of the day before and one from today. Uh, but yeah, 22 sales. Um, had to rush one down to the uh, posted yesterday because it was due and it was like one single item. So... <laughs> Had to run down there at nine o'clock last night to get that in. He was like, oh, sales been really slow, have they? I was like, no, <laughs> there'll be like 25 coming tomorrow or something. He was like, oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I've got to transfer these all over to my packing room now and get these done. Thank you so much for watching. Um, there should be car boot videos coming very soon. Charity shop videos, hopefully, if I can manage to get the camera. So yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Have a good weekend or whatever day this gets uploaded. I don't even know when this is going up. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.